We're installing a lintel. Uh, we need to be able to access door in this brick wall so we can get underneath the house just to check on the structure and the services underneath the house. So the tools we've got for doing this, has got an angle grinder with a diamond blade in it, masonry bit and a dr hammer drill, our protective equipment of course, a uh, hammer and a chisel, I've got mortar, a bucket and a trowel to finish it off with, a tape measure and a marker to mark out where I'm going. Right, so I've, I've checked out my structural plan, so I know exactly where my piers are, so I've got to put my lintel in between the piers. Um, just a little handy hint, we can use the vents to look in and check the height of our bearers and joists just to make sure our lintel's going in under them so when we put our access door in, we're not going to be hitting our heads on the bearers and joists. The next step is to put the lintel onto the brickwork and just mark out where it's going to go. Now we've marked out where we're going to put the lintel in, it's time to take the mortar out. I'm going to do that with the angle grinder, we're just going to run the grinder along the mortar line, cut it out, we're going to take a little bit of the top of the brick just to make sure that we can get the lintel in nice and smooth. So now we've ground out the mortar and made some room. We've got to clear out the rest of the mortar that the blade couldn't get to. So we're going to use a chisel and a hammer to get into that. I'm now going to grab the hammer drill with a 10mm masonry bit in it, just to finish it all out, just to make sure the lintel goes in nice and smoothly. Right, so I've just finished making the hole for my lintel. Now it's just a matter of popping the lintel in and knocking it into place. So we've got our lintel in now, it's all in place. So the next step is just to mix up some mortar and just tidy up the ends of the lintel there. What we're using for the mortar here is actually a pre-mixed mortar mix. Basically, we just got to add water to it and just get the right consistency. Okay, so I've got my mortar mixed up now. It's time to put it in the joints and finish the job off. So once the mortar's in the gap, it's good to just run your finger along just so you get the same profile that was already there. Just hollows it out a little bit and finishes it off nice. Once I've finished it all up, I'm going to get a little bit of water and just wipe the bricks down so they come up really nice. So there we've got, we've installed the lintel. Check out our other videos, including how to install the access panel.